In this video, I'll show you how to make a Gauss cannon. What you need is some enameled copper wire, which you can buy at Radio Shack, DigiKey, Mouse, or all electronics, wherever. Uh, and then you'd wrap that around a plastic tube. And you'll need a projectile that's ferromagnetic. And the way to check that is you take a magnet and you take the projectile, and if it sticks to the magnet, it's ferromagnetic. So, you want to make sure that projectile will fit inside your plastic tube and go out the other side without any friction or not much friction. You'll need a capacitor, electrolytic, at least 100 microfarads, and I'd say 20 volts. You'll need a resistor, uh, 100 ohms or greater. You'll need two switches. One's a push button, momentary on, and then a switch with an on and off state. And I'll show you the schematic as to how to make that. Oh, also you'll need a DC power supply. This one's 19 volts. Uh, you're probably okay with a 12 volt supply, but the higher the voltage, the faster the projectile will go. So, something to keep in mind when it comes to finding a power supply. So here's the circuit. Your DC power supply is here. This is the positive, this is the ground. You would go from the DC power supply through your resistor to your on-off switch. And then from that side of the on-off switch, you would go through the capacitor and back to the DC power supply. And also what you would attach to the capacitor is your momentary on switch and from that you would connect your inductor to the negative of your electrolytic capacitor so I'm gonna connect that up so I put the projectile on this end so that the projectile is slightly inside the coil have the circuit charge up Turn off the first switch once it comes to a charge. And then push the push button switch. So, you saw the projectile come out the end there. And it wasn't very fast, but if you get a higher voltage and a better coil, you should have better results as far as speed goes. So, that's just a real basic circuit you can use to make a Gauss cannon.